Hello and welcome. This is Bibi Cameron here and today I want to share with you an idea to create water backgrounds using timeless textures, a stamp set by Stampin' Up. I have used different stamp sets to create these cards, but I have used pretty much the same technique, so that's what I want to share with you. For the card today, I have used four different stamp sets. I got the fish from Bear Hugs stamp set. I got the string from Balloon Celebration stamp set. It's this stamp here. And the sentiment is from Honeycomb Happiness stamp set, which is one of the free items you can get during celebration. And I also used two stamps from Timeless Textures stamp set. I'm going to grab a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to start by stamping the fish using Archival Black Stamping Up Ink and I'm going to use blender pens and ink pads to add color to this little fish. So I easily apply color using the blender pens and the ink pads and in those places where I want the ink to be darker, I just apply an extra layer of ink and that's it. I accidentally went out of the line here, so I'm going to fix this using a white pen, like so. And I'm doing this because I'm going to cut this image using the coordinating die, and this dies leaves a white trimming all around the edges. So I'm using the white pen to cover that little spot of ink there and you cannot see it later. If you are going to use scissors to trim any image, you don't need to be so careful when you are coloring because you just cut on the line. I'm not sure you can understand me because you know English is not my first language, but after using the die cutting machine, you will notice that the dye leaves a white edge all around the image. You can see it there? I hope so. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is stamping the string or the fishing line or the cord, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to use this stamp here and it's just that easy. And then I just position the fish there because I want to see where I'm going to stamp the water. And I'm going to use two stamps from the set Timeless Textures. And this is a clean stamp, so I'm going to use a clear block to use it. And I'm going to stamp with Marina Mist Ink. I'm going to stamp the water splash like so. Please notice that I only re-inked the stamp twice and then I keep stamping with the ink left on the stamp so I got lighter shades of the same ink color on the cardstock. And I have used a stamping at dimensional to paste the fish and now I'm going to stamp the water. And to do that I'm going to use this stamp in the stamp set and I personally think that this is a very very fun way to do this. So I'm going to use Marina Miss ink and I'm going to apply the ink just like that. And I slightly move the stamp towards the sides like so. And that's how I can get the effect of waves or having waves in that water. And then I can use a contrasting ink. I was thinking in use Night of Navi but in my previous card I used Pacific Point and it turns beautiful. So I'm going to use Pacific Point again here and I'm going to stamp on top again using the contrasting ink like so just to get a little bit of more intensity in the color. Okay, I think this fish should be a quite bit inclinated or it should be moving or give it a little bit of movement to the fish and now I'm thinking how I'm going to stamp the sentiment I'm still thinking about it <laughs> I will find a way so I'm going to move a little bit the fish towards a side to give a little bit of movement and I decide that I need some more water splashes 
on here and there. And now let me show you how I add contrast to this image. I made exactly the same for the image I have in my hand. The only thing is I apply in all around the edges and I use Pacific Point to do this. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to use Pacific Point again. I'm going to apply the ink in circular motions from the edges towards the center of the card. And I'm going to keep the color in this part of the card. I'm not going to sponge all around the edges of the image, only here on top of the water. And then I'm going to use the stamp again to add some layers of water. And I keep going. So as you see, this is extremely easy and all you have to do is play a little bit with your stamps and just move your stamp a little bit to create that movement in the water. And now it's time to stamp the banner. I'm going to use my Stampa Magic to do this. As I didn't want to stamp the whole sentiment like that, I just wanted to be in one single line. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to use a piece of washi tape like so. Then I'm going to use my Stampin' a Body to reduce the static from that cardstock because I'm going to use Versamark ink and white embossing powders to do this. So I'm going to use my Stampa Magic to know where I have to place the stamp like so. Then I keep going and I stamp the next word straight away, like so, and being very careful of not pushing the Stampa Magic hard on the cardstock. Once I finish stamping with Mersamar ink, I'm going to apply the embossing powder, I'm going to check the card like so, and then I'm going to remove the washi tape. And I'm using a small brush to get rid of the excess powder on the cardstock. I'm going to heat this up and after doing that, I leave it dry, I leave it cool down, and then I use a damp towel to clean the excess of embossing body powder. Then I trim this with scissors and I'm going to do something different today because I want a banner with a lot of dimension. So I'm going to put the music a little bit loud and you can see how I make this banner. My image is finished, so now I have to finish the card. And to do that, I'm going to use a piece of Pacific Point cardstock. 
it coordinates with the ink as you see that's a perfect match and that's one of the things I love from Stampin' Up! that you can get coordinated inks, paper, accessories, everything looks amazing together so make any kind of project it's easy and now I'm going to paste this just with glue and I want to show you the dimension of this dimension always add a little bit extra to your paper craft projects and sometimes is the wow factor okay for the inside of the car I used a panel of whisper white cardstock and I used one of the stamps in balloon celebration stamp set I also used the fish in Pacific Point ink I sadly missed the clip or the video in which I was stamping the inside of the car so I'm so sorry I can share that bit here in this video but it's easy so I hope you can understand what I did inside the card and to finish I embellished with some sequins these sequins are from watercolor wishes card kit from Stampin' Up! and I thought it was a nice addition to this card and I pasted them with small glue dots so this is the card today is finished and this card here is in my blog and I didn't have the opportunity to make a video so basically I did the same for the background I make more fishes and to make these bubbles here I use bleach but you can also use a blender pen and just uh, apply circular motions to lift the color so you will get a white spot there then you can apply glossy accents on top of those uh, white spots to get shiny bubbles and when the glossy accents are still wet you can apply glitter you can also see more details about this card in my blog and the links are underneath this video this is all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration or to order stamping up products anytime Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye. I'm also taking this opportunity to share with you some pictures of my new baby boy, Harris. He's only three weeks old today. So I have uh, my hands full at the moment as I also have another two children, but I still have time for crafting, for making videos and blogging. I'm not sure how, but I do it. Bye.